Hey there, and welcome to this Airtable tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to navigate your planned social media content calendar. So let's begin. The very first column is the social media copy, and this is where I have written all of the captions that I plan to schedule for your social media. The next column is multimedia, and this is where I'll be uploading the photo or video that I plan to attach with your social media post. The third column is link, and this usually only works for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, but it will not work for Instagram. So don't expect to see this link at the end of your caption for Instagram because linking on Instagram does not work, but it does work everywhere else. This fourth column is just for me, so you don't have to worry about that. This column just helps me see visually which posts I have successfully scheduled for you. This column is a little self-explanatory. This just shows you when this social media post is planned to be scheduled for. The purpose column is made up of all of the content pillars that we have decided for you. So for example, this post, it fulfills the Motiva Motivation Monday content pillar. The others are for personal life, travel, things like that. Of course, your content pillars are going to be totally different than mine, so you'll definitely see something different under yours. And then finally here, this column indicates which social media networks this content is planned for. So in this case, this will post to Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The next thing that we should talk about is the different views that you can use here on Airtable. So by default, the view is going to be grid view, which is pretty self-explanatory as well. It shows you all of your content in a grid However, you can also click on that and then select calendar. There are other views here that you can choose from, but your social media content calendar is not optimized for these other views. So you want to click on calendar. In calendar, you can see where these social media posts have been scheduled. Finally, the most important part of understanding how to navigate Airtable and your social media content calendar is how to make comments and request changes. So on any of these posts, if you hover to the left of the social media copy column, you'll see that a little blue arrow, double arrow, um, populates. So you can click on that and what you'll be presented with is an expanded view of that post. As you can see, all of the columns are shown here, but you'll also see here on the right an activity column. And in this activity column at the very bottom, you can leave comments. So in this case, let's say that you were my client for this particular social media calendar. You can say, remove so as you can see here in this caption I've written it out and at the end I have do you boo boo so <laughs> you if you don't like that you can write here in the column remove do you boo boo then press enter as soon as you hit enter I will be alerted via email that you have left a comment on one of your posts However, I do recommend that instead of typing your comments like that, you actually at comment me. So in this case, you would want to type the at symbol, then start typing my name, then hit enter. And as you can see, I am being tagged in your comment and then just type in the same comment that you put before or type in whatever comment it is that you want. hit enter, and then you know for certain that I have definitely been notified of any comment that you have um, placed on any of your posts. I highly recommend that you go through the entire social media calendar and make all of your changes at once. It shouldn't take any longer than an hour to really just go through it. It should be a lot less. 
after you've done making all your changes, I will then deploy all of your changes and schedule your social media calendar out. If you have any questions about this tutorial or how to make any additional changes, please let me know.